What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on a two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 6. Two-factor authentication in Fortnite helps you protect your account from any type of threat and on top of that, it even gives you a free boogie down emote. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can enable it on every single platform. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video and show you guys how to do this. But really quickly before we start, we do this all the time. If you guys want to have a chance to get a free gift from me, it could be pretty much anything you want from the item shop, like any skin, bundle, back bling, pickaxe, wrap, emote, anything from the Fortnite item shop including the chapter 6 season 1 battle pass all you want to go ahead and do for a chance to get a free gift from me is just subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video and comment down below your epic games username so i can obviously add you and send you the gift if you end up winning good luck and also a massive shout out to all the legends using code x r y t inside of the item shop you guys are absolutely amazing thank you so much okay guys so just like i told you in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of fortnite chat Chapter 6. So basically, like I said in the beginning of the video, turning on two-factor authentication helps you properly secure your account from any type of threat. So it literally adds another layer of security to your Epic Games account, not even just Fortnite. It also adds that layer of security to the entirety of your Epic Games account. And like I also said, it's going to be giving you a free emote inside of Fortnite. So let me go ahead and go to my emote and quickly show you guys what emote it's going to give. And here it is. It's called Boogie Down and you guys can go ahead and just immediately get this emote inside of your account for literally free. You don't have to pay anything. All you want to go ahead and do is just turn on two-factor authentication and once you do that, it's going to be giving you this emote the first time you log into Fortnite after turning on 2FA. And as you guys can see, it is a pretty cool emote, and it's also OG. This was added back in Chapter 1, Season 4. So yeah, this is a very nice addition. You get, like, this is a very nice plus, actually, because turning on two-factor authentication is a very important thing, and they give you this as a really nice reward on top of that. But now, let's go ahead and show you guys how to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 6. And by the way, do not worry, you can do this on every single platform. There are a couple, you know, important tips on how to do this on certain platforms, but do not worry, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to turn on two-factor authentication no matter the platform you're playing Fortnite on. Now, let's go ahead and get started right away. Now, the first thing we need to do is we gotta load up here inside of Fortnite just like me, so we gotta make sure we're inside of the main lobby of Fortnite. And once we are here inside of Fortnite, what we need to do is to open up our side menu like this. So you guys can go ahead and open up this menu right here. And once you open this menu, you're going to be seeing these tabs on your screen. At the top, we have social, which basically just shows your friends. Underneath it, we have add friends here. You can see your friend invites. You can add other people. You can send an invite to someone by typing in their username right here. Underneath that, we have looking for party. You can look for a party here, look for players to play the game with. Underneath that one, we have voice chat. You can do your voice chat settings here. But right underneath this one is the one we're looking for. So this tab right over here called menu. So make your way to this tab over here called menu. And once you guys go ahead and do that, to the right, you're going to see a bunch of other tabs. So we have settings, we have Fortnite crew, we have parental controls. We have reporting, we have support and refunds, and then at the very bottom, we have legal. So from here, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is to go to the very top and go to this tab called settings, and then we just need to click on it like this. So after we click on this settings tab, it takes us into the main settings menu of Fortnite like this. We're now inside of the video section of the settings. So from here, if you guys look at the top, you can see it. We just need to switch to the right side like this. So every time you click on it, it takes you to the right side. So all you got to do is to go all the way to the right side like this one by one and then make your way all the way to the right side. Like I said, and make your way over here to this tab called 
account and privacy. So you're going to be at the very first one right over here at the left side. It's going to be called video. And just all you need to do is make your way to the very right side to this tab called account and privacy. Now, once you guys go ahead and make your way to this tab, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is to come down here like this. And here you will see a couple of sections. So we have the account section, we have the clipping section, we have the social privacy section, we have gameplay privacy, and then we have credits. So from here, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is to make our way to the section called the social privacy over here. Now, once we make our way to the social privacy section, we can see this setting called can receive gift. So what we need to do is to make sure we have this setting turned on. So if you have it off like this, all you need to do is just to click on it and then turn it on and make sure you click apply. And then once you do that, this setting is going to be applied just like that. So the reason we're doing this, the reason we're turning this setting on is because I've seen some people online say that they were not able to get the boogie down email because they had this setting turned off. So we're turning this on to not risk anything and make sure we're getting the boogie down emotes after we go ahead and turn on two factor authentication, but we're obviously not done here. So after we do this setting, all we got to do is to make sure we apply it, just like I said, and then we just need to back out from the settings like this. So just click your back key and it will let you go back to the main lobby of Fortnite, just like this. Now, since we're now back in the main lobby of Fortnite, let me tell you guys a second step of turning on two factor authentication, because like I said, we have not turned it on yet. Now, in order to go ahead and turn on two factor authentication, we need to actually leave Fortnite. So unfortunately, we cannot do this next step inside of Fortnite. We got to go and leave Fortnite. And this depends on which platform you're going to do this, but you could do this next step on your phone. You could do it on your PC, your laptop, your console. Pretty much all you need is access to a browser. Any browser would do. I'm going to use Google Chrome, but it really doesn't matter which one you do. Just make your way to a browser for this next step. Like I said, guys, it doesn't matter which platform you're doing this on. It doesn't matter which platform you play Fortnite on. You could do this on any device that has access to a browser. Now, all you need to do is just to make your way to the website I'm going to be telling you and the website's address, I'm going to put it on the screen as well, is www.epicgames.com. Make sure you guys go to the official website of Epic Games and from there, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the next thing you should do to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite. Like I said, this is the most important part. This is where we actually turn on two-factor authentication. So yeah, just go to the website I told you. And now let me show you what you need to do on that website to turn on two-factor authentication. All right, so after you guys go ahead and load up inside of the epicgames.com website, this is what you're going to be seeing on your screen. We have like a bunch of different games and stuff like that, but we're here to turn on the two-factor authentication. So here's how you guys do that. From this page, look at the top right corner where you guys can see this little icon right here. So bring your cursor on top of that icon and go down to where it says account and click right here. After you guys click account, it's going to go ahead and take you over to this page. So as you guys can see, it normally takes you to the account settings part, but I just switched to the redeem code part because there are some private information right here. But basically, after you guys go ahead and load up right here, you're going to see all these different sections. So we have account settings, email preferences, payment management, transactions, epic rewards, subscriptions, password and security, in-game currency, parental controls, EULA history, apps and accounts, creator programs, and marketplace seller. So after you guys go ahead and basically make your way to this page right here, what you need to do is go to the password and security tab right here. So click on it just like this. After clicking on it here, once you guys load up inside of the password and security part, what you need to do is really simple. Just scroll down slowly and you guys are going to find the two factor authentication part right down here at the bottom. So as you guys can see, there are three different methods you guys can turn on two factor authentication. The first one is a two factor authenticator app. So you basically set up an app from your phone and you link it here. So whenever you are going to log on from like a new device or something, it sends a specific code to your phone in that app. And then you can just like pretty much put it right here. This is kind of a hard way to do it. We have email, which is pretty easy. You just put in your email and they send you a mail when you want to log in to your account. And then we have SMS, which is also really simple. It just sends you a short message when you want to go ahead and log into your account. It sends you a code from there and you just put in the code and then you can go ahead and log in. So it's really up to you which one you want to choose. I chose email, but you can choose multiple as well. It is better to set up multiple for better protection. But if you want to just get the emote for free, all you need to do is just choose either one of these. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. Just like I said, 
and click on setup right next to it and just set it up. It's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. It's actually really easy to set it up and you probably won't run into any problems, but if you do so and if you can't figure out how to set it up, you can simply click on this how to video and it's gonna go ahead and take you to the official video made by Epic Games showing you how to exactly set up the two-factor authentication. But yeah, that is how you guys can go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite. After you turn it on, the first time you log into Fortnite, you're gonna be granted the boogie down emote for 100% free. And you can still do this in chapter five, season two as well. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe with the post notifications turned on so that you're not gonna miss out on any future uploads from me. So I will see you guys later on a different videos. Take care.